Hey everybody, welcome to Jason Explains Things. Tucked away in the small town of Yakima, Washington is the factory for Scout Campers, one of the premier manufacturers for adventure-ready truck campers. Today we're gonna give you a tour of their awesome facility and announce a brand new camper designed for mid-sized trucks. Hey, I have one of those. This video is not sponsored. One of my channel goals is to highlight awesome companies in the Pacific Northwest, creating exciting new things for cars, trucks, or adventuring in the great outdoors. Drop a comment and let me know other companies we should feature. Well, hi there, I'm Joel Hart, and uh, currently I'm the social media and marketing coordinator here at Scout Campers and uh, Adventure Manufacturing. Uh, I actually started with the company uh, almost two years ago now. Cool thing about our company here is we, we've been building campers since 1969. Production used to be up in Canada back in 2008, moved down here to Yakima, Washington, where we are today. In 2020, crazy year, <laughs> we, we launched Scout Campers and uh, something that seemed crazy, but everyone was looking to get outside. Just haven't looked back since. All right, so here we are in station one of our production line for the Scout Campers. And what we have right here may not look like much, but this is the very beginnings of, of a Scout Camper. We go to what, what's called the cab set area. And if depending on the model, if there's cabinets in, in that camper, those will be added next, uh, along with some of the sidewalls. Bit by bit, it just comes to life. So this area is where the final stages of production are. Extensive uh, quality assurance and, and those guys are going through their checks and, and within a week or two, uh, that thing should be out of here and on its way to- Middle of nowhere. To, yeah, yeah, to <laughs> Timbuktu if that's where you're at. So Joel, tell me about Scout Campers as far as what the mission of the camper is. I know that it's obviously a lot more adventure capable than a lot of other ones. Totally, yeah. So kind of one of our, our mission statements and, and goals is is just being pioneers in the outdoor and camper industry to be able to go anywhere, anywhere mm -hmm. that your truck can get, these things should be able to get there with you. And some of the key features and, and our favorite things that sort of set us apart is uh, the lightweight. Uh, right. They are, they are some of the lightest weight hardwall campers, mm -hmm. cab over hardwall campers in the industry. And uh, with, with that, special one we looked at it's we believe going to be the lightest yeah and i i noticed that they all have unique names we got the yes. kenai olympic i don't work here i don't know yeah <laughs> yeah yeah no that was a good start yeah. yeah so and then our other two uh -huh. uh, is the yoho mm -hmm. and then the newest we're launching is the tuck tut yeah uh, which is a really unique one if, yeah. at least for me it was and yeah kind of inspiration for each of those at least that I know of, three of the four, mm -hmm. uh, were national sure. parks. Tuck Tut, nobody's probably heard of. I have not. <laughs> but it's a very remote uh, national park in Canada, actually. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So this is our new uh, Scout model here. And this thing's really awesome. We, we designed this uh, specifically with the DIY community in mind. So, yeah, guys like you, Jason. <laughs> so we're... we're we're really excited about this thing. It's crazy light. The dry weight of it is 634 pounds. So specifically, what models is this designed for in mind as far as trucks? Yeah, great question. So so we actually designed this specifically for the Jeep Gladiator. So we get tons of questions about that one. It's mm -hmm. been one of probably our most asked models to build for. Um, it will fit the, the Rivian if you're brave enough to put it on your Rivian. Uh, also, believe it or not, the Ford Maverick. Oh, so wow. Four and a half foot bed, this thing can go on there and it can carry it. Um, so those are some of the key ones that we're really excited about nice. being able to offer for. Cool, well, let's uh, take a tour of the inside. All right, and the first option we have here uh -huh. is our diesel heater. Not a bad idea to get one of those. Totally, yeah, you wanna stay warm in those sub-zero climates. <laughs> so this is a four season like all the other ones? Absolutely. Do it. We'll sweat. A little bit fun. of cross breeze in here now, so. <laughs> Yeah, we got a ton of uh, exciting things going on in here. As you can see, we're partnering with Goose Gear. So if you awesome. don't want to just completely come up with uh, all of your own features, we're offering some upfitting options with Goose Gear uh, that are going to be great to expand your storage. Yeah. And they look great, high, high quality uh, product and company. So and one other option that you'll be able to add is the Yeti Goal Zero. Mm -hmm. uh, same, same thing that we have in all of our other models so of course if you get if you choose to get the diesel heater 
Uh, you'll want the you'll want the Yeti power bank to be able to, to power that. Yeah. Um, in addition, we have here. These are an option. These are newly designed uh, uh, portal edge bunk extensions. So okay, cool. You can extend your your bed here a little bit, and I can actually demonstrate yeah. that for you real quick. So kind of held into place here uh, on our ceiling brackets with some some nice Vole straps. Mm -hmm. When they are in the upright position, you can store and hang gear on here. Yeah, so like a molly panel. Exactly, yeah. Very cool. Lightweight aluminum molly board, so great feature. This leg just flips down. Nice. You sit here, and then you just grab your, your mattress, and you're golden. Very and now cool. Now you got even more bed, rim, right there. Awesome. So how much does a fully loaded one like this one weigh? This one comes in just under thousand pounds so oh, we're, we're okay. about 970 ish 900 i think 50 or so one other thing how how easy is it to uh load and unload you know it's it's easier than it might look um it especially once you do it two or three times it's like second nature uh they are manual jacks but you just pop off these little caps here uh-huh we give you a, a drill bit that fits fits oh, that. Nice. Okay. And then uh, yeah, you just raise it just draw, uh, and to the up. appropriate yeah, and then you just back back right under it and lower it back on there. And then of course you of course want to make sure it's secure too. So gotcha. Connect connect those straps as well. And last question because I'm gonna get comments about it, so we'll head that off at the pass. What's the price? Yeah, so you know, it, in this point of filming, we haven't completely landed on on a price yet. Mm -hmm. But if if you are uh, thinking about getting one, or if you've looked at Scout before, sure, uh, this is it is going to come in at, at a good good bit lower, lower of a price else. point. Yeah, awesome. and, and I'm sure once once this video drops, you check out our website. And yeah, see see the details there. So. Awesome. Well, Joel, thank yeah, you very much. Absolutely, Jason. I absolutely Pleasure. love the tour, and this is just again, it's amazing that this is all. I didn't know that this was here. I've been dry, I've I've bought wood <laughs> there yeah. many times, and nice I didn't job. know this was right next to it. So very very cool. Uh, Load it up. You sold me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do all it. Right. All right. You thank you, Chris, for holding the camera. And until next time, God bless. And don't forget to do it yourself. Uh, tell me about being based in Yakima, Washington, of all places. Again, every time I, I, I discover something cool is made here, it's just always a surprise because I grew up here and I thought it was lame and then it turns out to be more and more awesome the more old I get. Yeah. So yeah, like is, is this a great place, uh, first off for, for using a scout camper, but also building a scout camper? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Washington, what better place, you know, yeah. for an outdoor camper, uh, company and yep. and to take it out to test it to use it yes. what what's great about yakima is you know you can drive an hour mm -hmm. in so many directions and be in so many different climates landscapes we've said that a lot yeah. it's to see how, like oh let's like desert mountains yeah. where do you where, rivers what do you want to do <laughs> can't beat it you can't beat it i think yakima is underrated it and is. it's 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 great you got all four seasons too and so just like the campers <laughs> that is really cool yeah yeah